welcome to this video this is a video about card ruts um, I call them paleolithic train tracks um, and a kind of uh, hybrid with cable cars that's my question are those paleolithic cart ruts a hybrid transportation system somewhere between a train uh, and tracks and cable cars in combination with tracks I will comment a very interesting video uh, I want that to make that very clear the author is lower and this is Loha and she asks the question it's the title of her video could card ruts have been carved by a lost lost civilization her channel is megalithic hunter and this is the title again and this is the link so the link um, so the author is Loa you will hear her name several times maybe I will call her megalithic hunter Loa this is Loa speaking I explore my fascination with the megalith builders in other videos in our channel these prehistoric ancients are in many ways still a mystery to us to get a better understanding of them I also look out at what came before and what came after as well as researching contemporary cultures who didn't build megalithic monuments at all uh, so you can join her in a channel uh, I know this video I think it's very interesting I will explain why my motivation of me uh, Johannes Malans I'm a forestry engineer to comment and to base this video on her video uh, my motivation to comment on the very interesting video of Lora in her one of the videos in her Megalith Hunter channel is that her approach is very straightforward and that Loha has clear objectives and probably is one of the few that speak freely because I think she does not have a sponsor and in detail about car ruts which is very interesting and few people talk about it and it could be something very big and she connects it or tries to connect it with other megalithic uh, works or infrastructures another motivation for me YM, I will use this abbreviation Johannes Malens forestry engineer to comment on her videos is what Loa herself says at the very end of her video I have my own theories, this is Loa speaking, on what men years were really for and on what was happening in the Maltese temples. And I'm getting somewhere with a theory about the Cyclopean walls or poly polygonal walls. I, I see most often used the word polygonal walls 
still Loha speaking, but card ruts have me really confused. And as I've said before, she's speaking at 19 minutes into her video, close to the end, they aren't just in Malta and Italy. Loa speaking, give me your ideas, let's figure this out. So that's also a motivation for me to make this video. Because I have another standpoint and I have researched other things. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. That's Loa speaking in her channel. You have the link. I showed it before. This is, uh, let's say, the screen. And this is the link. And she goes, she continues, I'm determined to solve at least a tiny bit of the mystery that is the ancient past, but I want a community, uh, she probably thinks of her channel in the first place, to do it with having support on YouTube and social media makes the journey so much more fun. I love sharing my trips and my research and this is end of uh, the quote where Laura is speaking. Now I come to my Johannes Mallens comments on Laura's work and video. So from now on when it's uh, a little bit back and in an italic it are quotes by Linda or others. In this video it's almost exclusively of Linda. And this is a selection. When you have three points that is because I cut something out. You can find it in her video of course. Car ruts have fascinated me for many years because, like megaliths, it's not clear who created them, when they created them, or why they created them. They've been given the name cart ruts because they look a little bit like the tracks worn into stone by wheels. The idea of a lost civilization is attractive to explain, I suppose, because many sophisticated ancient cultures appear to spring from nowhere. That's really fascinating. And I, I hope and think I can give some answers besides Loras answers. Just as with megaliths, Card ruts are often attributed to this or some lost civilizations. Lower speaking, because it's back and it's in I I Italic. I still don't know what this lost civilization were doing with them. She's pointing at the uh, uh, card. Ruts. Uh, maybe I will call them sometimes tracks or even train tracks. Lower. I prefer the idea that the answers are right in front of us, hidden in plain sight. I think we're missing something fairly obvious. I agree with her on this. I'm concentrating on the ones I've explored myself and the various research that has been done on them, these cartridges, so far. I mention migrations from North America towards Western Europe 
Mediterranean and that includes the regions he's talking about which is Malta and sometimes he speaks about Italy and other locations this is a photo of card rats and you see they are really profound it's really not something we know today and what we something we do not expect to have formed so much in a far past so this is also cartridge but leading into the Mediterranean Sea it's quite fascinating I think these are other megalithic structures that are found in the region And this is a figure with my comment, Johannes Malans. Organic megaliths high up uh, windows or uh, entries, uh, access points that must be reached by ladders or scaffolds or tunneling and stairs. I just found this image today, so I don't know if there are tunnels of stairs inside. But it's very organic building. It remembers me of, um, I think it's Cody, it's uh, Spanish, and Malta is Spanish. Uh, so we could have visited, uh, visited these places. There are many photos you can put in some of the keywords of this comments of or of the video of Laura and you will see plenty of photos with quite some fairy tale photos this is interesting because it's cut out in rock as a pillar as a roof but it's probably a hat and still has meters of rock above this room which has a special name I don't remember it right now you see this is a, a very special and large chamber it's very surprisingly this is cut out of rocks meters under the rock surface under the tracks in some cases so I wonder with this photo, but I didn't research it. Is this a kind of a roof? What is this? Is it natural? Again, the windows or the entries for goods or persons high up. How do you cut this? There's many other places in the world, by the way, that you can similar questions the meteors in, in Greece is, is amongst them but there are many others in other continents Loga speaking the main characteristics of these rats there are theories she mentions that these rats are from the last ice age I think they are <coughs> car ruts are pairs of parallel tracks carved or worn into bedrock Malta has hundreds of these car ruts so any explanation into their origin needs to be clear on why there are more there in Malta than anywhere else in the world I think this is very uh, clever for, for her doesn't give an answer but this is this is what I mean with straightforward uh, so here comes a uh, first hypothesis that answers some of her questions 
the builder or builders of the guard ruts or tracks and megaliths come from one of the several haplogroups that come that have their roots in North America. The roots of several haplogroups are uh, located in the Americas, most of them in North America. And these builders that come from North America explore and conquer parts of the Mediterranean and uh, whole continents like for instance Eur Eurasia and that's something they su succeeded in which is rather recently discovered by means of ancient DNA, DNA research and is called Yamnaya population turnover event or horseman population turnover event. The now recently proven existence of these groups explain the observation of Megalit Hunter Lora because she says many sophisticated ancient cultures appear to spring from nowhere and I mean for them to spring from North America with little traces is pretty much appearing taking over the whole of Eurasia amongst others from nowhere and leaving no traces almost no traces except except the very clear traces of ancient DNA research. So this is a very interesting observation that few do so directly as she does. Many sophisticated ancient cult cultures appear to spring from nowhere. This feat of appearing from nowhere and conquering the world and leaving that in, in a dominant way in our modern human's DNA is an, a real achievement or feat strongly indicating that they were sophisticated and even from a more modern perception spring from nowhere especially since according to consensus Europeans etc the whole world the, all the modern humans come when they still are not modern and certainly not sophisticated out of Africa so and suddenly uh, they come from out of nowhere, so not out of Africa, and they are very sophisticated, uh, a, a very long time ago. So I will stop this video, but I will show at least Air One, North America, is the root of Air One B which is dominant dominant haplogroup or genome in Western Europe and Air1A in more present in Eastern Europe and so on over the world. So the root in a with a high frequency is only present in North America. The only place where Air One is also available is in Australia, but it's not in high frequency, so it's a secondary movement. Uh, 
it's more related with Southeast Asia. So that's for the next video. Just quickly, megaliths and polygonal stone walls, also called cyclopean stone, stone walls, are registered all over the world. That includes the Americas and that includes North America. So uh, you find, for instance, videos about uh, stone walls in Montana, but you find them all over. You find a lot of mega megalithic structures in North America. In this place where the route lies, of many, if not most, West Eurasian modern humans. It's pretty much what we consider the developed world. So that's for the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. I just go back quickly. that this is a comment on this video from Laura which calls her channel and herself Megalith Hunter thanks a lot for watching this will have this video will have a sequence because I I still have to cover the biggest part of her video and of my comments Thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye. This is Lowe. Bye.